McLaren, Porsche. Why can't I have one of those? Why, and a Hearst Oath. Man, that is nice. Oh, I want one of each. I want the McLaren, I want the Porsche, I yeah. want the Hearst Olds. Yeah, I love them all, but I like GM, especially this era, because you can work on them, find parts for them, and almost any mechanic can handle them. This is a 1979 W30. It was a limited edition car. They made less than 2,500 of them and bought it for the original owner. It has 37,000 miles on it. Probably original paint, original it is interior. 100% original. 100%. I mean, you're looking at basically like a brand new car from my era of high school. Yeah. Wow. Look at that interior. It's all original. Oh, look at that. I must have had three or four buddies that had these things, except for they weren't the, you know, high dollar Hearst Olds. Yeah, it has the shifter. What was the Hearst Olds? I know that obviously the transmission conversion. Was there an engine, some kind of like engine uh, well, setup that they had? It's a 350, but of course all the decals is what it was all about, with the gold and the black, and then the wheels that are gold. That was all part of the Hearst Olds look. I cannot believe how perfect this thing is. Can I start it? Yeah, the air conditioner works. We, we like for everything to work. Let's try it out. Oh. It's like a brand new car. It's cruise control, so it drives like a brand new car. Woo, just got transported back to high school. These were used for delivery vehicles. This is such an iconic car. They took this like American Corvette car and they were like, here, family it. Caffeine and Octane is brought to you in part by Capital One Auto Navigator. Find and finance a car you love. CTSVs. Station wagons, two of them. <laughs> Am I seeing double? Nope, this was the first production year. This was the last production year, so 2011, 2014. CTSV means we got a Corvette motor, drivetrain. Basically. 550 horsepower supercharged. So 556 stock. Uh, this is on pump gas, a little over 700. 700? Yeah, like 705. Station wagon. It just had this visceral feeling, like this big V8, lots of power. They took this like American Corvette car and they were like, here, family it. So a Corvette was like 50,000, this was about, about 80,000. So you can get a Corvette for 50 or a station wagon for 80. But, some, the, but the station wagon right. carries the family and it's got the headliners. Do you carry nice family in this? I do, I have a two-year-old daughter. This is the family car. That is crazy. You know, you gotta get the daycare. Now you're talking my speed. Uh -huh. Now I gotta get the kids there quickly, so I need more yeah, horsepower. Yeah, more horsepower. So this is what 700 horsepower looks like, right? It looks like nothing. It looks like there's nothing <laughs> done, which means it's a sleeper. I love it. Yeah, a little more. That's what I'm talking That's how you take the kids to daycare. Yo, I just watched the, I'm sorry, I just watched the gas gauge drop an eighth of a tank just now when I... <laughs> God, dog! Oh! You hey, made it! Hey, watch your feet, buddy. Woo! I just love airbag vehicles. That won't make it over a curb. <laughs> How are you doing today? Oh, good to see you got the bus out. That's right. This is a 1959 International Metro. These were used in the early to mid 40s on up into the 60s for delivery vehicles. And so they're kind of funny, looks like an upside down toaster, but back in the day, it served a purpose. Any idea of the original history of where, where it was? The only thing we can see on the side that it had something about furniture on it. So it was apparently a furniture moving truck at one point in its life. This is such an iconic car. <laughs> That's harder than it seems like it ought to be. 
What drive train you got in this thing? So it's got an LS in it. It's got a front clip out of a S10. It's got the Blazer in it. Okay. We got Budnick wheels. We got 20s in the back, 18s in the front. Nice. So going down the road to St. Cruises. We truck about, I've got it, I'm not gonna tell you how fast I got it, but let's say it loves about 85 miles an hour. And then I uh, had them cut new glass for the whole thing. Oh yeah. So we definitely wanted to see out of it because it is a bus and it's hard to see. At least you can see out of the side. I mean, yeah. Look at the doors. Boom! Love the pocket doors. 